I was gonna say the fact that you like took something that was meant to jumpstart transformers and threw it on the cart. That back end slides out a good amount. I thought you were about to hit me. So it turns out there's someone in my neighborhood who has an electric powered go kart. And so finally today, we're gonna be able to figure out what's better, gas or electric. Yo, yo, what's up, Harley? You like you like what you see down there? Like my cart. But yeah, he's got like 96 battery cells. So his is like straight ridiculous. It goes up to 60 miles per hour. Mine is not geared anywhere near to get to that. Obviously, he doesn't need gears. And his was way more expensive. But I'm going to still give him a run for the money on like turning. I don't know. Mine probably breaks really well. It's probably lighter. I'm definitely lighter. I, I don't weigh anything. So yeah, we're about to see. batteries oh yeah yeah a few back here and here dang bro 96 so, 96 cells yeah that's crazy that motor yeah that battery i made that plate that it's attached to that has like i was gonna say the fact that you like took something that was meant to jump start transformers and threw it on the cart i got that big motor i think so wild build compared to mine yeah it's a difficulty with the batteries bro. another thing does it weigh a lot i feel like it weighs a good amount try to pick it up in the back oh lord about to about to feel weak oh yeah <laughs> yeah that weighs that weighs quite a bit more than my cart yeah so you definitely got the power advantage mm -hmm. i got the weight advantage Ooh, yeah mine's oh my God. the engine barely weighs anything and i don't weigh much so and it turns like crazy with these real thick wheels on there i don't know if it needs to be that thick but they're pretty sticky i don't uh, mind no, those more are sticky. r80s those are basically concession tires mm -hmm. that's as hard as you can get i have some uh, r55s too but i took those off because they threw too many rocks yeah mine throw rocks at me all the yeah, time it's ridiculous so yeah. i got rid of them yeah. yeah so that's like a fully integrated system right there yep the brake lights work I'm gonna check yeah, those left out. Turn, right turn and hazards work in the rear too. Your cart's on already? Oh, I can turn it on. There you go. It's wow. It's impressive sound right there. Tyler's <laughs> like that that back like that. end slides out a good amount yeah i thought you were about to hit me all right i guess i'll start mine up
I was driving down the freaking interstate and my exhaust came off, bro. It was way too hot to touch. I can't pick it up right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Could have happened. I didn't think my exhaust pipe fell at all. Oh. I was like, I heard a loud noise, so I was like, my engine better not have broken. There's some siding over there, too, you could probably use as a glove. Yeah, put it over there, though, so we can get on the way back. I didn't see that you were stopping. You I was. Me, you didn't see me stopping. I was distracted looking at the cars. I didn't see you were stopping, so I, sli I, I slammed on the brake, and I did I a little. <laughs> I did a little spin out. Nice. This thing is loud now. Definitely quicker, that's for sure. Huh? I said yours is definitely quicker. That's for sure. down a bit. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to keep it up here.
sketchiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's why I was asking you if you were good with driving over there. I was like, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I was just sitting there taking it slow, though. Driving with one hand, holding the exhaust pipe with the other one, loosening the front a little bit more, and then retighten it back a little bit. Oh! oh, shit! All right, now I got the uh, silencer back on there, so I'm not disturbing the whole neighborhood, but uh, sadly the AutoZone exhausts a bit off. Yeah.